that's where we are. We're a West London radio station, so we're representing what's the students and the kids in West London. And it was nice to come here and listen to what you know, what was what the topics of the subjects were, i.e., sex, education, drug abuse, violence, as in knife violence. Uh, where they're going to go further with the education. And it was nice that they, they actually sat there and answered questions, and we could give our opinion and maybe help out. Back Chat Live has been brought to you by uh, the dedicated team of Westside Radio, 89.6 FM. And it's brought to you in conjunction with the Back Chat Show, which is aired on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. And it's hosted by myself, my name's Amin Soda. And it's uh, run by a team of talented and bright, young and enthusiastic people of all ages between 15 and 19 years. I think you do need to educate people. You need to learn more what's going on. But, you know, you, you can educate someone, you know, but if they're going to deal with something, they're going to do it. I think the important thing is, of course, part-time jobs do prepare you for full-time jobs, and that often gets forgotten. So when, you, when you're looking for a part-time job, what you need to do is maximise the skills that you're being given throughout that part of the employment. The council does you know, have a big sort of programme that Jason Town is a priority, and that's over 40 young people. And we found from the first year that young people, uh, young people are going into jobs, they, they all, there was, the rate was um, 20, 2 out of 23 got their MVP. So they're coming out with qualifications through the apprenticeship. Apart from doing you know, your college studies, I would really recommend getting out in the world of work, whether volunteering or on a part-time basis, because I do sincerely believe that improves your chances once you come out of college. Kate Moss is of this world, the Amy Winehouse is Lady Gaga now, just told just, just, just us they're, they're doing this sort of stuff, they're in the media spotlight, you know, day in, day out. And it just winds me up, how come, you know, um, they seem to get away with it? They do, I mean, there was a video, wasn't there, of Amy? Did, taking a bomb or whatever mm. she was doing, um, nothing was done though. nothing was done. And that, that, that sort of thing winds me up because at the end of the day, everybody buys these celeb magazines, everybody is into the celeb world, whether you want to admit it or not, you, you know what's happening out there. And it just, it just think, I just think it's wrong in the sense that, you know, these guys are out there in, in front of the TVs, on the radios or whatever they're doing, in the papers, and they're getting caught for doing this and they're not getting punished. Pete Doherty is a classic example mm. of that. You know, he, he seems to get away with it all the time. And it's just, it's not good, it's because, you know, there's youngsters out there who just think, well, if he's getting away, but why can't I? You know, and they might encourage them to do something that they shouldn't be doing. You think, you know Amy Winehouse, she takes drugs, right? But you can see the bad effects on her as well, that's shown in the media as well. So that could, like, lead to um, teenagers not following her, because media shows the bad effects of drugs on her as well. So it's kind of like, not not all the time celebs get, like, get away with it, because she has been portrayed as a really bad example. I mean, if, if um, it was happening this borough, I'd like to think that we would run a consistent policy and if it's a star or not a star, we would arrest and, and deal with the person. Um, so, yeah, I, I do agree that they, they've got responsibility to set the standards as well. But I think the reason why Westside did choose this college is because they do a lot of work with Ealing Council, um, they do a lot of work within the community of West London, and obviously that stretches all the way from Uxbridge, all the way down to Shepherd's Bush. But I think Ealing, um, they've done a lot of uh, work with throughout the summer, i.e. with the carnivals and the fates and stuff that was going on. So they chose, I reckon they chose this college or university, if you like, as well, um, because it, it reflects the audience. We came to see Ealing and we thought, wow, it's a really good place. It looks spectacular. It looks like it's a really professional environment. And we had we made some great contacts in the form of Paula Whittle and a few other people as well who said, yes, please come and have it here and we had another gentleman Gabor as well who helped us out set us a, set us everything set everything up for us and it just looked like it was the perfect place for us to do it 8 to 11 Saturdays and Sunday mornings tune in 89.6 FM or www.westsideradio.co.uk listen live thank you very much okay.